Hey yo, what's poppin' guys? Welcome back to another brand new video on the TG channel. Now, in this video, I'm gonna have to whisper, but as you guys can see from the title and thumbnail, eight secrets you guys have not seen on Beastorm Simulator, eight Christmas secrets that you guys need to make sure that you know. So, before we get into this video, I need a massive, massive favor, okay? Can I just get one like? Can I just get one like? If one of you right now presses that like button, it would honestly just turn my frown upside down. Not that I'm frowning right now, but it would just make me so happy, please. And also, if you've not subscribed already, and if you've not seen my channel before, this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, and you just you just not press that subscribe button yet, please, 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 guys, I urge you to subscribe and turn those notifications on because I will not disappoint you uploading every single day here on the TG channel. Now, my name is Kyle, and this is eight secrets you missed in the Beastorm Simulator a Christmas update or I guess eight secrets you can look forward to for the Beastorm Simulator Christmas update because as I'm making this video the update isn't actually out yet it's coming out tomorrow so you guys might even be watching this when the update comes out uh, this is it's all confusing it's confusing let's just let's just get straight on into this video okay so for the eighth secret in this video or just starting from the top I figured I'd actually order these in an order from my least favorite to my favorite secrets i guess you could say so i guess we're going from least favorite first now the demon mask and the gummy mask have been nerfed or updated whatever you guys want to call it as you guys can see the before of demon mask we've got times 1.5 red pollen plus 20 percent pollen plus 38 percent instant red conversion plus 25 percent bomb pollen plus 25 percent b attack plus 35 percent defense and plus 20 percent b ability rate plus passive ignite needs fire mask and passive uh, x flame now the new demon mask is going to look something like this so same red pollen uh, a bit more 20 a bit more pol uh, just pollen uh, bonus I, I guess that's how you would say it uh, plus 25 percent pollen instead of the 20 percent pollen we've still got the same instant red conversion and but we no longer have 25 percent bomb pollen that's totally been uh, just deleted that doesn't exist anymore in the demon mask it's now 100 percent instant flame conversion We've got 25% B attack still, we've got 35% defense still, we've still got 20% ability rate, and we've still got ignite, and we've still got X flame. So the main two things that change really on here are the fact that it's more pollen, uh, more just regular pollen, so plus 25% pollen, and it's no longer you don't you no longer get bonus bomb pollen that's just doesn't that's not a thing anymore we've also got the diamond mask on here which beforehand looked something like this so times 1.5 pollen plus 20 percent pollen plus 30 percent instant blue conversion 25 percent pollen from bees plus 50 percent capacity plus 35 percent defense and plus 20 percent b ability rate passive and the what well, the two passives at the bottom the two passives Oh, my bad. The two passives haven't actually changed. The beat ability rate hasn't changed either. Defense also hasn't changed. Now, the thing that it's got, the main thing that's going to change here is the fact that you got you got 50% capacity before. That's no longer a thing anymore. It's now times two uh, bubble pollen, and it's now times 1.5 capacity, which I don't actually know how that works. Is times 1.5 is that more than 50%? Surely that's I don't, I don't actually know. I don't actually know. Let me know down in the comment section if that is more than 50% capacity. I'm not too sure how that really works. Like I said, guys, I'm terrible with maths. We've got plus 30% instant blue conversion and we've got 25% pollen uh, from 20% pollen, which is dope. The blue conversion is still it's, it's the same and the blue pollen is still the same. But for the most part, the main difference here is, is the capacity change and the times to bubble uh, pollen oh and obviously the 25 percent from 20 percent pollen moving on to the gummy nerf the previous gummy mask i'm pretty sure i don't actually own this i'm assuming it's the one on the red so it's plus 75 percent goo tw plus 20 percent goo conversion plus 10 percent instant conversion plus 30 percent pollen plus 50 percent uh, 50 percent pollen from tools plus 30 percent defense and 20 percent b ability rate and obviously the two passives now the passives have not changed the b ability rate has not changed defense has not changed 50 percent pollen from tools is no longer on the new gummy mask it's now uh, it's now times 1.25 percent capacity and just 25 percent pollen nerfed from 30 percent 30 percent pollen is where it used to be it's now gone down to 25 percent pollen it used to be 20 percent goo conversion it's now gone down to 10 percent goo conversion and it used to be 75 percent goo and it's now gone up to 100 percent goo so let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think about these nerfs do you like them do you prefer the old ones do you prefer the new ones do you think it's a bit more balanced now let me know down below in the comment section i don't actually own any of these masks so i can't really say too much on what i think of 
or I guess the old mask, but I guess, I mean, hopefully I'm saving up for one of these new masks. Ideally, the gummy mask is probably my favorite. So when I get that, I'll let you guys know what I think about the new numbers. Moving on to secret number seven. Okay, so secret number seven takes us to the Beast from Simulator leaks game by my boy Trinity Fake over here. He's actually finally accepted my friend request as well. He literally, I was AFK and he joined the game, which is really, really dope. And now <laughs> he's on my friends list, which is awesome. But it takes us to the Beast from Simulator leaks game, which he's made himself. And uh, we are looking at the Crimson Cobalt test models as you guys can see this is a uh, crimson cobalt b that was actually in the test realm which is now removed i'm not too sure why there's a rocket on there I'm not too sure why there is a a aim reticle on there or whatever you would call that but um yeah this was in the game and i don't know if it's coming back but it was definitely added into the beast from the test realm but Onet removed it for whatever reason. For whatever reason, I don't actually know. Let me know down below in the comment section why you guys think he removed it. I think maybe the B was just too godly, bro. Maybe the B was just way too OP for the game and he had to just, he just scrapped it. Who knows? Who actually knows? Moving on to secret number six. Now for secret number six, I'm not too sure if this is going to be in the Christmas update. And I know this video was specifically for a video for, for secrets on or in the Christmas update. However, the Robo Bear, I'm not too sure if it's actually coming in this Christmas update. And this is a secret I wanted to actually talk about for this next update. If it doesn't come in this update, it should be in the update after that. And we're going to be getting a whole new bunch of quests. In fact, the Robo Bear is going to come with, this is what he looks like, by the way, guys, obviously. <laughs> the Robo Bear is going to come with a new uh, team quest challenge. So it's going to be similar to, maybe similar to the Ant Challenge. Uh, but it will be with a team so you can literally join this quest challenge with a bunch of your friends have a blast make some honey complete the challenge and just earn rewards together with your friends which is crazy like that's actually really really cool and i'm pretty sure you'll be able to earn some cool uh, rewards as well uh, obviously we've got the bronze reward right here that it says for score 1000 but i'm sure it'll go all the way up to diamond moving on to secret number five now secret number five brings me on to talk about the new treats that are coming into the game if you guys haven't stumbled across these yet or if you are really really early to this video and you're watching it before the update comes out there's actually going to be new treats coming to <coughs> holy crap my throat let me just quickly oh my days bro okay okay man talking low when it's night time is just not my thing <laughs> the new treats coming to the game atomic treat neon berry and bitterberry. Uh, first of all, I wonder what the heck these would even taste like. Bitterberry looks like it would just not even taste nice. Neonberry looks like it'd just be super sour, like really, really sour. And atomic treat, I don't know, maybe it would be some kind of chocolate biscuit, but with green goo inside. Green goo would just be, I guess, color, uh, food coloring. Maybe it would actually taste somewhat okay. Who actually knows? I don't know why I'm getting into what the <laughs> what the treats taste like, but I guess I'm just really hungry. I need to go make myself some food. Um, but yeah, if you guys didn't know, there's gonna be a new, uh, three new treats coming for the game that will actually have special uh, perks when you feed them to your bees. Now, I'm not too sure what the neon berry and bitter berry do per se. Maybe the neon berry has a random chance to cause mutations or make the bee radioact radioactive. But right here, we actually have uh, mini test realm updates. So ato atomic treat always causes a random mutation in a bee. Mutations grant bonus stats. As you guys can see, atomic treat always causes a random mutation in a bee. Mutations grant bonus stats now i'm not too sure how i'm not too sure how uh, the other the other treats work but i guess i guess we'll find out in less than 24 hours when this update actually comes out moving on to secret number four okay so secret number four brings me to the equipment section of trinity devs leaks game now as you guys can see right here we have the honey hammer uh, apparently this is actually like a thing in the game. I didn't think this was real, but I had to ask Trinity himself as to why he put this in the Beast Swim Simulator Leaks game. Um, and he said it's because 
Like, it's, it's a thing. Like, apparently, it's going to cost over 100 billion honey. Apparently, it's going to be super, super OP. Apparently, people have seen Onet walking around with this new honey hammer, which looks absolutely incredible. Like, I, I just imagine destroying a field with the honey hammer. I wonder what the stats are going to be on it. Let me know down below in the comment section if you guys know anything else uh, about the honey hammer. But for now, I guess we could just... We've only really just... We've just got... We, we can only really just sit and wonder in amazement at, at this really, really awesome, awesome new tool coming to the game. At least I hope it's coming to the game, because I'd be really, really disappointed if it wasn't. Moving on to secret number three, I have something that you guys are going to actually be... Uh, <laughs> you guys, man. I, sorry, I'm looking at the chat. It's really it's distracting me. Those who do not use the TG code will be banned. Okay, use star code that guy, by the way, guys. If you watch this video before the uh, <laughs> before the packs come out, uh, the mythical egg packs come out, use star code that guy when you're buying your Robux because uh, it, it will just, I don't know, man. It will give you the, the mythical bee that you want. I don't know, man. Just use star code that guy. <laughs> yeah, so secret number... Is that another owner? What in the freak? Okay, <laughs> I'm so distracted. Secret number three is insane. Um, It's probably one of my favorite secrets, like I said at the start of this video is going down from so my least favorite secrets to my favorite secrets now we're, we're in my top three secrets for the new beast from similar update these kids are literally getting in my way you guys need to relax uh and it is the gummy storm ladies and gentlemen here we have a gummy storm model which, which leads me to believe that there is actually going to be a gummy storm in the new update and if if not in this update then it will be in the update after this one but yeah we we currently already have the honey storm uh, and now we're gonna have the gummy storm. The only thing we're left without is the ticket storm, which would be crazily OP, but I think I think it would be cool, man. Having a ticket storm would be really, really cool as well. But gummy storm, um, uh, I, I can appreciate the gummy storm. It's another way to get to get uh, gumdrops, and I guess it's just, it's free. Like, wh why would you not want free gumdrops, man? Gumdrops give you free honey, and essentially they're just super, super OP, and I'm just really happy that the gummy storm is now a thing in the game now for secret number two guys this gets very very interesting we have the ticket memory match now if this is what i i think it is i think we're gonna be able to pay honey honey to play this memory match or pay tickets to play this memory match maybe it'd be somewhat kind of like gambling which is kind of crazy if it is like gambling but i mean if, if you have to pay tickets it's gonna be like gambling i guess but i think what this is uh, regardless of how you have like pay to use it i think the only rewards you'll be able to get in the ticket memory match uh are tickets so this could be really really op i don't know how how like how big the reward sizes are going to be obviously i know uh, royal jellies goes up to like 25 maybe even 50 royal jellies from some of the memory matches so imagine if you could win up to like 50 tick tickets from one ticket memory match game that would be insane maybe you pay i don't know a few million honey and in exchange for that you could win a bunch of tickets or maybe it's pay five tickets or ten tickets and in exchange for that you can win a bunch of tickets but it would be like gambling and i don't really know if Onet wants to add gambling into this game so it's going to be interesting how that's going to be played out um and i just really can't wait to see how the ticket memory match works when we get this new christmas update and now for my favorite secret of the new christmas beast swim simulator update the mythical egg now this probably isn't really a secret to many of you guys but to those of you who haven't really been following the leaks and haven't been following the beast from Simulator news and all of that blah 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 shenanigans the mythical egg is now a thing in the game well when the update comes out which is basically it's basically this an egg that always hatches into a mythic bee absolutely <laughs> insane the current mythical bees we have are the spicy bee the vector bee and the tadpole bee if i can show you guys some pictures of those that would be really really cool right now so we've got the spicy bee right here i don't know if there's any more pictures of the vector bee and oh, oh wait here we go there's a pack here's a pack actually mythics bunch up and we've got the pack right here um the mythic bunch up 2 which is this pack which i think you should be able to buy this pack and it'll give you a random 
random mythical uh just like just i guess out, out of luck so let me know down below in the comment section what you guys' favorite mythical bees are my favorite mythical is probably the spicy bee um but the tadpole bee does sound really really cool vector bee does also look pretty cool but spicy is definitely my favorite when it comes to what it looks like when it comes to what it does just oh man i <laughs> I can't bro and just bear in mind guys the spicy bee is or sorry the mythical bees are not event bees these are not event bees um these are another tier of bees so like you have the rare bees epic bees and you've got the legendary bees there are now mythical bees and yes mythical bees can be gifted I think we might actually have an example of a gifted mythical bee right here gifted spicy bee guys please just tell me that doesn't look dope please tell me that doesn't look insane that was eight secrets in the Beast Swim Simulator Christmas update that you may have missed or that you just might have, I don't know, not even knew existed until this update's come out because it still hasn't come out yet. If you're watching this when the update comes out, then awesome. Drop a like and subscribe right now if you guys haven't done so already. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow or later on for another brand new video. If you are watching this video when I've just dropped it, like you guys are part of the notification squad, I'm probably live streaming and the link will be in the comment section of this video. So be sure to come and join me in my live stream. But for now, guys, take it easy. I will see you guys tomorrow in the Bee Swarm Simulator Christmas update. Why is this guy static in my face, man? Go away, bro. Why are you kissing me? Pet, pet, pet.